Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Veronica, known as Data Geek. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install PostgreSQL, one of the best tools out there for learning and managing SQL databases. So rather you're new to SQL or just want a visual interface to write and run queries, this is a perfect place to start. So first off, what is PostgreSQL? Well, it's free, open source, and it's a rational database system that lets you store, organize, and query data using SQL. It is also a great choice for beginners because it's free, it's easy to install, and it uses standard SQL. The same language used to almost every database. It also comes with tools such as PG Admin, which gives you a clean, user-friendly interface to write queries, manage tables, and explore your data visually. So rather you're learning SQL for the first time or you're practicing for that data analysis job, PostGre will help you get you started with everything you need without needing that complicated setup. So let's jump into it. All right, for, so the first step you want to do is open up your browser and search for PostgreSQL. Once you search that, you will click on that first link here where it's a .org. You'll be taken to this website here then you click on download. Then choose your operating system. Choose Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. But for this video, I'll show you how to download it on Windows. So click here on Windows. Next, you will be taken to this page, Windows Installer, and it gives you a note here. This installer is hosted by EDB and not on PostgreSQL community servers. So if you have any issues, you can contact this website here. Also, it shows you what's included. So here on top where it says download the installer, you click that. So next you're taken to a page with the latest version listed. So for example, Windows 64-bit, we're gonna click this little arrow down. On this page, you don't have to do anything. It will automatically be installing on your computer. You will see a little download here. So here on the top, it says downloads. It has been installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Now we will follow the steps for setup. So here we're gonna go ahead and click next. Next we will select the installation dictionary. So where will it be installed? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my next button here. Next you will select the components you want to install. In this case we want them all, so go ahead and have them all checked and click next. And then place a select dictionary under which to store your data. So go ahead and click next. The following settings will be used for installations and click next. Next, it will be ready to install. Again, next. So this can take a couple of minutes. So now the setup has finished installing. Now we can go ahead and click on finish. Okay, so after you finished installing the PostgreSQL, you might see this extra window called Stack Builder right here. So this pops up. It says, welcome to Stack Builder. And what it's really doing is offering optional add-ons like advanced tools, language drivers, or third-party extensions. For beginners, you don't need to use this right now. It's totally optional. You can just click cancel or close the window and jump straight into using PG Admin, which is the main tool we're gonna be using in this tutorial. And then later on, you could always come back to this stock builder window and add on and install extra tools. So you could always get more comfortable with PG Admin. And then once you're comfortable with it, get back in here and um, start at installing those extra tools. So right now you can go ahead and hit cancel, but if you'd like to go ahead and go further, click Postgres SQL, and then go ahead and click next. Then you will see this here. Please select the applications you would like to install. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to install one of the very useful add-ons, which is the PostgreSQL ODBC driver. We're going to go ahead and expand this database drivers. This driver lets you connect your PostgreSQL database to tools like Excel, Power BI, and more. Click that box and then click Next. Go ahead and click Next. Click Next to start the installation. And now installation is now complete. So now you can click finish. So now that you have your PostgreSQL installed, click on your Windows button on your computer 
And from the apps, you can go ahead and click on all. Just type it in PG admin. And here it is here. I'm going to go ahead and open. So here we are in PG admin. You have your little welcome here. So here's your server. So if you click on this, I've had post admin installed in my computer before. So this is just a connect to server. However, you might get a window saying migrate saved password. Please enter a master password. If you get that window, it's pretty much the same thing. You just create your password. I will go ahead and enter a password here and click save and then click OK. And then now you will be in your databases. Here you can see the databases and here this Postgres comes already default, which is this one. And you can go ahead and expand the schemas and you will see your tables under schemas. If you expand that, there's no tables right now. So if you want to create a new database, you simply right click on Postgres SQL 17 and create and database. Then you will see this window here, database name. You can go ahead and call it whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to call it sales DB. And then from here, you can go ahead and select additional options like definitions, securities, also parameters, advanced and SQL. So as you can see, when we created our database in the background, it does your SQL queries. Very cool. And then you go ahead and save. And now you have your sales underscore data. Now to see your database, expand your database, click and expand your schemas and under public, you will see your tables here. And right now we have no tables. And you can easily just create a table by clicking, highlighting tables, right click tables, create and table. Now you can create your table name. So for example, you could put um, customer ID. From here, you can go to columns and you can go ahead and create your data types for your columns. So this little plus sign right here, just simply clicks plus. And if you go back here, our customer ID, so we could even put underscore customer ID to make it all together. Do a control C, go back, control V to paste. Then you can go ahead and select your data type. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and do is press the N for numeric. And I'll go ahead and select that. Your length of characters, how many characters you want. So say you only want five. If you don't want it, null, not null, and also primary key or not. So this one here, since it's going to be a primary key, we go ahead and select primary key. You will have other column names, which you don't need to select this. And then you go ahead and hit save. And then we will just add one more here. So we can put customer underscore name. And we will put text. And go ahead and hit save. Now you will go ahead and go to your tables and expand customer ID. And now you'll have columns too. So now you have customer ID and customer name. So my table is created with two columns. So if you want to view your data, you just make sure the customer ID is highlighted, right click and go view, edit data, and then all rows. And it shows you all your rows in your data. So right here we have select all from public.customerID and order by customer ID. That's our query here. And then on the bottom we have our data output. So we have customer ID and customer name. Another way to do this, you can just simply click here, all rows. It also shows a shortcut by selecting Alt Shift V altogether. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click that and it shows you the same thing. And that is it. You've successfully downloaded and installed PG Admin, your new home base for learning SQL and PostgreSQL. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below with questions. I'll be creating more beginner friendly SQL and database content, so stay tuned. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can always buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.